welcome back to my channel, Pops and Annie. Today I'm going to be reviewing some pops, but before we get started, make sure you like, subscribe, and comment down below. And if you like and subscribe and comment, you will help put out um, everything that I ha am showing you to give people ideas of what not to buy, what to buy, what to look to to see if it's worth their money and just ideas and tips of everything or like what is like really good to do but or if this is suited for them to collect Funko Pops so make sure you do all that for those people out there in the world so I've already opened this it is a Star Wars box we have gotten this for someone's birthday before of our friends. So we have Dark Lighter, Antilles, and Porkins. And it's a three pack, and they are vinyl bobbleheads. And it's a Walmart exclusive. And we got these at Bargain Store because what's better than going to the Bargain Store? So. We have Porkins, Porkin first, they actually did really good on him, I mean, it looks like they came out of the movie, it's amazing. I like how they did like the screen, and they do have a gap in between it which collects dust, but doesn't really matter. But I like how they have where they talk and how they have all the symbols on it and all sorts of things. And his outfit, I mean, it looks rustic. It looks torn up in places. It just looks really cool. And I like the wobble. I like bobbleheads a lot. But there's Porkins. I mean, they like didn't do like a horrible job, but glowing it just wasn't the great. It was the best idea, but not the greatest way to do it. The way they did it. But it feels like they put gel on here, which feels really cool, like masks. And how the videos in previous where they had done um that I have done where we where there was a pop where it had stuff in its goggles and it just looked really nasty it had hair and dust and all sorts of things this one like literally has nothing in it like they did it in a place where there was no dust whose house has no dust. You smack a pillow 20 times, smack it all day until there's no dust. Two seconds later, boink, whole bunch of dust. It's like everywhere. So I don't know how they did it. But then here is Wedgie. Comment down below if I'm saying that right. He has the same outfit and everything except for the helmet. It is green it, instead of this stuff. But it has the V's on the side. Oh, wait. This one has like a one V and keeps going on fire. This one has a whole bunch of V's and a dot. The sides are different. And then well, this one has a beer. This one doesn't. Uh, pork and... Thing looks more like it's torn wedgie thing it doesn't look like it's torn on the tube but they're in the same position as always which is pretty cool but this one looks like it's a more dull color than like slick like this one but also I love the way they did the thing right there this one actually has a very little gap but the gluing you can see on the sides, which is okay, I guess. 
but again, how do they get this with no dust in them? How? Reveal your secrets. Well, if they reveal their secrets, then people could do it themselves, but it's actually really cool on what they do. Like how they do like certain textures and how they make certain colors that are like very dark and don't like to be shiny. So shiny. What? Sorry. It is awesome. And then going on to, uh, what's his name? Biggs? I don't know how to pronounce his. His is different too, but his is like really cool. Oh yeah, in the back, this one has enough. I won't reveal it. But they have like the same thing, the same symbols in the same positions, but the things just do different things. This one just has a fewer like buttons right on his thing. This one, um, the uh, Bacon's has less. Uh, what's his name? Porkins has more buttons. And Wedge has like, he doesn't have that many, but he doesn't have nothing. So you're just in between. I think that's why they're a set like that. Mm, that'd be funny. But this one also, it's like someone's fingerprint Wendy here and then try to seal it back up. Oh, wait. Yeah, it's like someone put their fingerprint in there. This one has, like, a barely any room to see through, but still the gluing is not the best. But it's not terrible. But this one has a checkered helmet and everything, which I love. Which is actually pretty cool for this kind of Funko Pop. Other than the fingerprint and the gluing, I would say these are pretty cool, but when you look at the stands, this one's more rustic looking than these two. And this one looks newer than that one because this one looks darker than that one. That one looks brighter than this one. And this one looks more rustic than those two and these two look, oh, look newer than that one. Did you get that? But, oh yeah, and they smeared some black on Higgins' helmet. So guys, that is all for today. One last show. Voila! So, thank you guys for watching. Make sure you like, subscribe, and comment down below which one was your favorite. If you see anything mishaps. If you see... Like, whatever. <clears throat> but remember, if you like, subscribe, and comment down below, that will give people who are in need of help to find their way to find. Sorry, I lost the chain of thought. Their way to find if. Collecting pops is their thing. They should spend their money on this or pop. And all sorts of things like you Funko people do. So, bye guys. <laughs>